the major factors controlling this energy balance equation, intake and expenditure, are clearly on the intake side, food. Over the last 50 years, our food supply worldwide has continued to go up. In the United States, we estimate that the food produced is giving people on average 400 calories more per day than was present about 50 years ago. That means that unless you store that food in silos or warehouses somewhere, it gets stored on people. And I think we can contribute most of our obesity problem to the fact that we have an overabundant food supply, which has made it possible for manufacturers to provide very good, very tasty, and quite inexpensive foods that people like to eat. So the food intake side ha has that issue. The, the second component of food intake, I think, is the introduction of high fructose corn syrup about 1968, which began to replace sucrose in beverages, but also increased our beverage intake. And we know that our intake of beverages has gone from about 10 gallons per person to 50 gallons per person between 1950 and, and the year 2000. So a five-fold increase in beverage intake, all of that beverage containing either sucrose or high fructose corn syrup has provided a, a source of calories which have little else besides calories uh, for the use of our bodies. So I think those have been some of the major factors on the intake side. On the energy expenditure side, uh, we're a society that's more mechanized than it's ever been, and that's clearly playing a role. People use escalators uh, uh, more than stairs. You often can't even find the stairs in buildings, so you have to use elevators. So this uh, uh, development of a, of a more mechanized society, coupled with an overabundant food supply, makes a problem for many people who can't resist both of those and become obese as a result.